Hey, family. Welcome to another episode of Keep Going. And my name is Bishop S.Y. Younger, and I'm here in the Holy Land. Yes, this is not an artificial backdrop. We are here in the holy city of Jerusalem. Thank you for joining us. It's going to be a great provocative conversation today. You don't want to miss it, so take the time to go ahead and like, share this, send this to someone. They need to see this. They need to hear because today we're talking about marriage. And I don't know any other better couple to share in this conversation than Kelso and Jackie Clark. Y'all give it up for them. Thank you. Thank you. Kelso and Jackie Clark from Houston, Texas. And your ministry is called Iconic Marriage. Yes, yes, Amen. yes. Now, I'm going to ask you, now, with this very despairing uh, statistics concerning marriage, sure. not just in the secular world, but even in the church, why do you all still believe in marriage? Well, number one, God instituted marriage. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to say this first concerning iconic marriage because I know sometimes people don't have a clear understanding. But when we understand that God instituted marriage, we understand that God sets the standard of marriage. Okay. Iconic actually represents, it's a reminder of past victories and present victories. Each couple, matter of fact, we have gone through some crazy things, and I want to share some of those things with you all today. But we went through some, thi some things that we had to walk through. I had to discuss with her. We had to talk out, love each other through those mm -hmm. uh, processes. And, and it created victories. And every time we find ourselves at that place to where we're, we're stuck or we're challenged, we always go back to the memories of victories, past victories that we have won, that reminds us that if we could come through that, Watch out now. Watch we can out. also come through this. With the Lamentations so that, says, this I recall to that's my it. mind. That's it. Therefore I have hope. Yes, yes. sir. So it's rehearsing yes, the testimony. That's yes. rehearsing the testimony. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what iconic means. That's what it is. Because so many people rehearse the trauma. Yeah. That yeah. They fail to rehearse the testimony. Absolutely. And it just puts a, a despair on them to feel it like, does. hey, we can't make it. It does. So you all still believe in marriage. Absolutely. Still believe in marriage. So y'all yes. been married how many? 20 25 plus years? 25 years. plus years. 25 plus years. Be 26 years. Wow. This year. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yes. And you all are still, you got children? Yes. yes. Three wonderful children. One of course pastors the church back home for us and uh, two wonderful children that work in the ministry with us. Uh, so not only are you doing marriage, you're doing ministry. Yes. And you have children that's doing it with, with you. Now yes. that says something because yes. so many kids have had too close of an experience with their sure, parents in ministry sure. mm -hmm. that has made them not want to do it. Yeah. Absolutely. And so that says something about your lives, mm -hmm. iconic. Mm -hmm. So when, when you say iconic marriage, you're not just saying your ministry, your marriage is better than anybody right, else's. Right, you're right, You're saying it's victorious. That's, That's right. And what does that mean for you, uh, Jackie, that your marriage is victorious? What it means for me is that I'm able to know who my husband is, mm -hmm. and I understand that I'm called to walk alongside and to compliment who he is. And our motto is mastering oneness. So yeah. that's the oh. heart. Mastering oneness. Mastering yes, yes. oneness. What does that look like? <laughs> mastering oneness is being able to take both lives, both backgrounds, both yes. environments, both callings even, and allow the fusion of that, the two become one, to actually be walked out, to be expressed Absolutely. as one life. Wow. And it's very difficult, as di the mm -hmm. divorce statistics have shown us, yeah. it's difficult for us to die to ourselves mm -hmm. right. so that the two can actually become one. So, so how does it, now that sounds great for me, mm -hmm. romantically and mm -hmm. hypothetically, mm -hmm. but in a practical way, mm -hmm. what does that oneness look like when one of you is uh, struggling in an area or one of you has offended the other person, That's or the good. other has had a, a, a failure in the marriage. What is, so what is that oneness look, how do you master those moments? That, that's an excellent question. Number one, I want to say that when you talk about oneness, uh, when two people are called together by God uh -huh. and they come together, yes. consummate the marriage, they become one. Yes. Two have become one. Um, oneness is not something that you look for. You already have it. And that's what we want to first mm. uh, communicate to every marriage is that you already have oneness. We want to now teach you how to discover that oneness and how to master it. Yes. Okay, so it's possible to have it because the word of the Lord says you have, you it. have it. Absolutely. Right. But it still has to be discovered. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and a lot of couples are on, at odds with one another because they don't realize they already have it. Right. Mm. So uh, just going into just just a little bit of my story. When I was seven years old, of course, my, my biological father was murdered. 
And uh, after that, I went through a series of molestations. Uh, those molestations, of course, from uh, ranging from uh, bullies all the way to family members to even pastors, men, men of God in the church who you trusted with your story, um, who actually abused me and took wow. advantage of me. And from that, it literally led me down a path of uh, lost identity. I didn't know who I was. I didn't understand who I was. I knew I wanted to be married. I knew I wanted to be a husband to one wife, you know. And so when, of course, I met her, thank the Lord. And, uh, you know, when I met this wonderful lady right here, she literally changed my life. Um, I was able to open up to her about things that I thought was taboo. It was a secret. Um, and one of the things that actually open up to us was uh, the proverbial woman when it talks about how the husband's heart should safely, safely. trust yeah. you oh, know wow. and yeah. so the first thing that she teaches wives is how to create a safe place for yeah. your husband yeah. mm. you know the treasure chest yeah. that God called you to be yeah mm. yeah Absolutely. and and she she had a lot of things and I'm gonna let you share that too but she had a lot of things that she had to overcome of course uh, hearing some of the background stories of her husband and uh, you know me of course dealing with the shame the embarrassment. Is this and before you got married yet? Well, well, I would say before I got married uh -huh. and after uh -huh. I got married. The pornography, the different things that I found myself engaging in. Thank you for sharing that because yes. absolutely so many, so many men of God, yeah. really? Christians and believers, yes. struggle with pornography. Absolutely, right. absolutely. And we and we do make it taboo and they, mm -hmm. people don't have a talking absolutely. about with their wives That's not right. having a safe place. People don't have a safe place, period, oftentimes. Absolutely. And, and that, I'm so glad you said that, Bishop, because that's one of the reasons why we started Iconic Marriages, because we wanted to create a safe place, not just for everyone, but also for mainly for leaders. Mm -hmm. Because some leaders are afraid to talk about their issues, their shortcomings, that's the right. uh, things that they struggle with, because they have to go back in front of a congregation that mm. expects them to be perfect. Yeah. But, you know, I'm reminded of something we had talked about a, a while ago, how Jesus uh, he was on his way to raise up uh, the dead daughter of Jairus. And on his way, the Bible talks about how the woman with the issue of blood, uh, she reached out and touched his garment yeah. and she was healed. Sometimes we don't understand that men and women of God, they may not, ha may not have it all together, but while they're on their way to it. Yes. Phew, they're yes. releasing healing yes. to someone. Yes. They're releasing deliverance right. to someone who has been bound for years. And so we may not be perfect, but we're on our way. Wow. Amen. Yes, so, sir. So, uh, Jackie, yeah. you, he's sharing this with you. Mm -hmm. And now as a wife, how do you process that? And well, how do you help okay. him? Because you talk about mastering one. Right. How do you help him without totally seeing yourself as a victim and him a villain? Indeed. So he was sharing and I was shattering. Okay. <laughs> okay. He was sharing. Thank you for being honest yes, about sir. that. Yes, yeah. sir. It, he, it literally destroyed my image. I came mm. into the marriage mm. with an what image. image. Yeah. He's a man of God. He prays. He's the mm. picture. He, you know, he's like my dad. This whole thing. Yeah. And um, the pornography was a discovery of mine. I, yeah, he, okay. he didn't reveal it to me. No. I knew that there was the background of some things, but it was a discovery. Um, and it's interesting enough, I discovered it while I was standing with a couple of other people in the mm -hmm. same room with me. I picked up a, a portfolio yep. of his looking for paper. And I found more than paper. Right. And so I'm sitting there and I'm in this frozen position and I'm thinking, how do I handle this? And so I just kind of gracefully closed it, took my breath yeah. and finished my conversation. Wow. And it was the grace of God because everything in me shattered that day. Yeah. Yeah. Because everything that I had built up in my mind, mm -hmm. I didn't come into the marriage allowing him to be him, allowing him mm -hmm. to be open. Yeah. I, I heard the story. But I thought that was okay. Yeah, that was yesterday. You know, that's what happened back then. But there were some things that still needed to be processed in his life. Yes, and yes. apparently God felt I was the girl to take on that task. Wow. Yeah. For a moment, I said, God, why? You know, mm -hmm. for a moment, I did have that moment of thinking, okay, you know, I didn't sign up for this. Yeah. You know, you, you, you were, well, you said the vows. But in our minds, Come on. Know, because we all about as long as it's the past, right. people are not willing to suffer in the present Come on. Right. and don't right. want to suffer in right. the future. Indeed. Right. And that deliverance isn't always immediate. Yeah. Right. And like we would love for it to right. be. Right. And so I had to now figure out mm -hmm. how was I going to love this man? Because this is the interesting thing about God is he will show you a thing ahead of time, the end of a thing. Right. Right. He'll show you the end of a thing. I saw who he was. So in the struggle of do I stay in this, I couldn't get rid of the image of seeing who he would be. 
And I had Hallelujah. that to hold Hallelujah. on to. I said, God, you already Lord showed me who he is. Mm -hmm. So I can't leave him in the midst of yeah. the meantime, yeah. in the ugly moment, yeah. because yeah. I've already seen. And so, so in that, having that vision of who he was, God gave me the faith and the strength and he began to process out of me, my issues. Yeah. I found out how religious I was. <laughs> wow. I found out how self-righteous I was. Right. Um, I was on my he used to say, um, you need to get off your white horse. When I, would oh, you come, had a white horse. I had a white horse. <laughs> I had a white horse. And he would tell me, you know, you need to get off your white horse. And several times I fell off of that horse as God began to minister to me concerning my own frailties. But the revelation that God gave me, Bishop, was in the in the story of Abigail and Nabal. Yeah. And how when Nabal did not honor the request of King David to send mm. food and, uh, and to send the supplies that he needed, David had determined evil against Nabal's entire yes. house. He was going to take everybody out. And the Bible says that the men that worked in the camp of Nabal went to Abigail, a woman of understanding, yes. and yes. they said, Abigail, what are we going to do? Yes. She said, pack that man up everything that he needs. King David representing God. Yeah. So she jumped on her horse and she's there. She shows up with uh, to David and the Bible says she's ju she jumps off her ass. She worships yeah. Yeah. David. He sees this woman worshiping when he has determined evil. In the middle of the road. Come yeah. on, come interceding. on, come on, yeah. interceding. Yeah. Uh -huh. And see, marriage is about intercession. Yeah. And if you're not going to be a man or a woman of intercession, yeah. stay single. Stay single. <laughs> Amen. Right. You're going to have to be Jesus on the cross ultimate expression yes. of intercession yes. that he would rescue his bride. Yes. So she falls on her knees and she says, let the evil yes. of my husband be upon me. It changed my life. Yes. And so no longer did I intercede and pray for him from afar. God help him with his problem. Right. God help him with his issue. Mm. I said, God help us. Hallelujah. With our issue, Hallelujah. our problem. Hallelujah. I took it on as if I had the pornography issue. Yeah. And the Lord began to change my heart because I began to feel that he didn't really want to do it. Yeah. I began to literally feel mm. the shame that came along with it. Mm. I began to literally take on what he was struggling with on the inside. Hallelujah. So now I understand. Hallelujah. And so that level of intercession brought a depth of understanding that now I could see him past the issue. Yeah. And that's what Jesus is for us. Yes. He's our paraclete. Yes. He comes yes. alongside. Yes. 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 He comes alongside. Hallelujah. And this is why marriage is so important because the Bible says, husbands, love your wives yes. right. like Christ loved the Come church. On. Marriages preach the gospel. Hallelujah. That's right. Marriages that's right. preach the gospel. We're here in Israel, mm -hmm. right? A, a land <laughs> that, uh, that that's, was spoken that was prophesied, this yes. nation yes. in the will of God, in the heart of God. And oftentimes people ask me, say, why are you so obsessed with Israel? Why are you so <laughs> obsessed with the Jewish people? Well, first of all, I love the Jewish people and I love the That's nation right. of Israel. That's right. But also it's a picture of the love of God. Yes, yes. Because God made Israel a promise. Yes. He Hallelujah. made the Jewish yes. people a promise. Yes. And when I come here, I'm reminded that God is not just a promise maker. Come on. He is a promise keeper. Yes, I want to hear the rest of your story, but before we go there, even just speaking of Israel, I want to bring a young lady, uh, Cassie Carter Richardson. <laughs> She's going to come and She's going to sing a song even about this land, mm. talking about silent no more. Mm. Yeah. That is the voice of intercession. Glory, glory. Somebody that would get in the middle, yes. use their voice. Yes. Mm as Esther did, yes. Yes. use yes. their voice yes. like men and women, wives and husbands are doing all the time. So now mm -hmm. let's prepare for Cassie Carter Richardson. What Jehovah says when he talks about Israel. Beloved Rose, that's what comes to mind when he talks about Jerusalem. 
Although she sings that night, his word is still true that he would save her by his right.
Here's my worship, all of my worship, receive my My goodness, Cassie Carter Richardson. I'm telling you, she's been in the ministry with us for years, but I'm still blown away by her ministry, uh, not just in our church, but in the kingdom of God. Silent Hallelujah. no more. I will not be silent. Mm. I, and that is, again, we talked about before uh, we left the, the first segment, is that's the voice of yes. intercession. Yes. And not only now are you all interceding for your own marriage, mm -hmm. but God has raised you all up from the ashes yes. of your own marriage yes. to intercede and oh. stand proxy and come alongside other couples. I yes. want y'all to take an opportunity because somebody don't want to have this conversation out loud because yeah. it's a con the conversation that you all just had out loud is really an out loud conversation from yeah. some people's private battles. Yes. Now, whether it's pornography, mm -hmm. whether it's financial issues, yes. whether right, it's a lack right. of communication, right. I just want y'all to take a moment and just mm -hmm. look right here and just minister to couples who may be going through challenges mm -hmm. and give them some tips about how to overcome. Amen. amen, amen. I just want to first say that number one, uh, there is hope. It yes. does not matter how hard it is, how crazy it is, um, how uh, it, it has become in your life or even in your marriage. Uh, there is hope of restoration. Yes. God's yes. word brings restoration to our lives. And it does not matter how far you have gone. It doesn't matter. I've gone far. I've done some things that I am not proud of and yeah. embarrassed and shame was shameful of, but God is a deliverer. Yes. Not only that, he loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love and his love towards us is unconditional. I was able to experience that love, that love of God, not just through him, but also through my wife. Amen. And I'm telling you, there is hope for change and restoration. That's right, that's yeah. right, husband. You are literally a portal to a grace yeah. Wife, you are literally yes. a portal to a grace yes. for your spouse yeah. that God, you, the scripture says that you are heirs of the grace yes. of life. Yes. And yes. there is a grace of favor that comes upon the husband when he finds yeah. his wife. Yeah. You can live again. You can live again. You can start yes, you over can. again. Yes, you can. Wife who doesn't know how to reach her husband, go into intercession. Yes. He's not talking. Maybe he's not communicating. Maybe he doesn't know how to say the things that mm. he needs to say yes. ask God to make you that safe place yes. ask God to make you that that opportunity and that environment mm. that he can come into and know that it is safe to release those things out of yes. his heart he wants to tell you yes. he wants to release those things Absolutely. and so ask God to help you to become who you need to be that marriage can live again you don't have to walk away you don't we have to. are a model yes. of what God can do mm. with a broken situation I don't care how broken it is. I don't care how crazy yes, it looks. Yes, I don't care yes, if you've even yes. spoken about divorce. Yes. God will intervene. He will, he will yes, come he in will. and he will intercept the enemy's plan yes. and he will rebuild you once yes, again. Yes, we love each other greater than we've ever yes, loved one another. Yes, There's yes. a depth of love mm. that is now operational in our lives that we didn't yes. even know we could experience. <laughs> you can yes. have it as well. Husbands, mm. wives, put your hands together. Begin now yes. to pray. Begin now to declare unto the Lord yes. what's going on in your heart. Yes. I, I know you may even feel this thing in your belly. Right. Tears may right. even be coming down your face right, right. now. That's your, the spirit of the Lord showing you yeah. things can change things on your change. behalf. Yes. And we want to pray for you. We want to come into agreement with yes. you that God's going to break every yeah. barrier. Yeah. He's going to break down every wall. Yeah. He's going to yes. break Lord, every Lord, chain. Lord. And he's going to open up yes. the dam yes. that's on the inside of yes. each one of you yes. that you can now pour out yes. what needs to be poured out. Yes. Wife, you are healing for your husband. Yes, you are. Husband, yes, you, you are. are healing for your wife. Yes. God has crafted it to be so. So just lift your hands in this yes, moment right as we here. begin to and pray. And we declare over you right now the name of Jesus that every fragmented piece of your marriage will be called back into wholeness and yes. into oneness. Yes. We declare that your life will forever 
forever be changed and shifted by the word of the Lord. I declare to your spirit, be made whole. I declare to your emotions, be made whole. I declare to your imagination, be made whole. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, you will not give up. You will not let go. You will not separate. Divorce shall not be named among you. And we declare even now in the name of Jesus, oneness in your relationship. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. And it is so. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Amen. The Bible says man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. I pray today's message has been a blessing to you and that you've been expanded, increased, and you've been given the desire to walk even closer to God. If you've really been blessed by today's message, I want you to consider partnering with me that I can continue to get our quality content, inspirational, motivational, and gospel messages because we know it's through the foolishness of preaching that souls are saved. When you partner with us, you're helping us spread the word of God, not just domestically, but internationally, all over the world. And so remember today as you sow, that even though the money or the gift may leave your hand, it will never leave your life because you're partnering with something that's greater than you. We want to hear from you. If you've been blessed by our ministry, we'd like to get your messages. Send us an email. Uh, follow us on social media. And take this opportunity to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Remember, I know what it feels like to cry till you have no more tears left to cry. But after you finish crying, don't stop. Get up. The enemy will want to destroy marriage yes, yeah. yes, yes. because a lot of times we focus on the church, mm -hmm. but healthy churches are made up of healthy families. That's right. That's right. Healthy families are made up of healthy marriages. Yes. yes, yes. Healthy yes. marriages are made up of healthy people. That's yes. right. And secrets make you sick. Come it, on. Come on. Secrets come on. make you sick. I, I, we're almost out of time, but yeah. Pastor Clark, can you share with us? How do you overcome guilt? Mm. That's good. How do you overcome guilt and mm. shame? Yeah, that's that's very good, Bishop. You know, I think sometimes we focus on our forgiveness, us forgiving ourselves, and I know that's what we teach in, uh, you know, the psychology field. However, the greatest breakthrough is to really understand and to receive the love and the forgiveness of God. Mm. Forgiveness. Yeah is the currency of the kingdom. Yes, yes. And this is how God begins to make the exchange with us. We give him our broken, brokenness. And then he in turn gives us his restoration, yes. his yeah. forgiveness. And yes. so what I had to learn how to do is learn how to be loved. Yes. It was hard through the shame wow. and the embarrassment. Yes. And I thought I brought a lot of this on myself. However, in the midst of all of that, God showed me you still can be loved. I still love you. But you're not damaged goods. Yes. I'm not damaged. Well, I'll put it like this. You may have found me in the trash, <laughs> but he didn't call me trash. Come he on. called me a dime. Come on, come on, mm. come on, come on. It's what he calls you. It's what he calls I often say that, right. um, that when we look in the Bible, when yeah. it comes to the prodigal son, yes. that our commentaries call him the prodigal son. Yes, mm. yes. And he says to himself, I'm going to go back home and I'll be a servant. I'll be right, a slave. Right, right. Mm. But the father never he called never him any of that. that. Oh, the father right. never called him prodigal. Mm -hmm. Never called him the a servant. The father never called him a servant. No. The father called him son. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And if we can ever get a revelation yes. of how God That's sees it. us, That's right it. There. That's we'll it. live. If we, can if we can get a revelation of how God sees us, it will yes. cause us to live different. Absolutely. Yes. It's, it's what a, a young lady said to uh, one time, Deborah Velasquez. She said, she says, I didn't feel like I was worthy of love. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, so many times there. we're rehearsing our mistakes and our mm -hmm. sins, yeah. and we feel like That's we're right. not worthy of love. That's but right. it's powerful when you said, my wife loving me healed yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. That us loving each yeah. other. Yeah. And the Bible says, confess yeah. one yes. to another yes. that you may that be you, healed. Come on, come on. That's it. That you may yes. be healed. Yes. Well, let me tell you, I have watched you all over the years. Yes. Uh, you all have served as pastors. I know your mm -hmm. son is mm -hmm. uh, in, uh, leading out your church yes. in Virginia. You all yes. are in Texas. Yes. Yes. And you are actually in the world of psychology and counseling, yes. right? Yes. You're yes. a counselor. Behavior right. coach, yes. You, wow. And so you have both sides. You have the spiritual side <laughs> uh, and the academic yep. side so I've seen now I think you all do yes. coaching right yes sir yes sir. so what does that look like now well I'll let you explain that 
Well, we're coaches coach. and counselors now um, in the field of psychology, but as well in marriage yeah. um, and in family. Yeah. And so we allow people to connect with us mm -hmm. and we have courses that they can now take so yeah. that we can minister to them in a group setting or in a one-on-one -on -one capacity. Okay, right. so you have, is, is the courses uh, virtual and in person? Virtual, or Virtual, virtual courses. Virtual, virtual courses. so no matter where they... Where, no matter where you are, you always can uh, be able to log into our uh, website and yes. be able to access those. Uh, and I think people course. really like that because mm -hmm. people's marriages are, are private, yes. right? Yes. And so sometimes you can even be in a church mm -hmm. and yeah. still not want counseling in your church. Yeah. Absolutely. Because you don't, you know, we were taught, keep your business at home. That's right. But you got to open up to somebody. You Absolutely. So how can people get in touch with your ministry? How, how can they do it? Well, if they go to uh, KelsoandJackieGlobal.com. Uh, Kelsey, Kelso, Kelso and, and Jackie you told Global. me the 70s show. <laughs> <laughs> Kelso and Jackie Jackie Global. Global. Yes. Dot com. That's mm -hmm. correct. That's uh, correct. And you'll be able to sign up there. You'll give your uh, email. And then, of course, we'll give you some uh, free tips on uh, how to build a praying lifestyle with your mate. And then after that, you'll be able to also sign up for our courses. And you all do individual things with like oh, yes. women's ministry. Yes. That's right. And you really help. You, you help walk the men, men through That's breaking correct. the cycle of pornography That's and right. all that. Absolutely. I want you to know your ministry is necessary. Yes, sir. I just really want y'all to know that yeah. your Thank ministry Lord. is necessary. Over the years, I watch you all minister. Mm -hmm. You all have ministered in such a way with such transparency mm -hmm. that it have made the religiosity mm -hmm. of people nervous. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. You know, because people would rather keep things cloaked. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't. Uh, you can't heal what you don't reveal. That's right. right. And so Absolutely. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank yes, you sir. for being living epistles yes. and exposing what your trauma was mm. that brought you to your testimony. Yes. Because people are always telling <laughs> testimonies, yes. but we don't, can't really celebrate the testimony yeah. if we don't know the trauma. That's yeah. right. And yeah. it communicates to me yeah. mm. that no matter what state I'm in, yes. nobody yes. who's watching, no That's right. that you, you, it's not too late that you can never recover Absolutely. from this. Absolutely. Um, I'm so blessed today. I, I know you were blessed by the music and by this wonderful couple, Kelso and Jackie. And go to Kelso and Jackie Global. Uh, dot com and get more information. You can also continue to follow us, like, share, subscribe to this channel. You can find more information about our ministry at bishopyounger.com. I want you to know, I know what it is to cry until you mm. have no more tears left to cry. Mm. But after you finish crying, whatever you do, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs>